So, and, and, and granted, I mean, in the movie business, you know, it's like, yeah, who, what's your name? Okay, and it immediately goes on IMDb, but, you know, know. It, it, it's something that you could refer people to, so we can, uh, maybe, if if I could find it, I'll definitely send it to you. Okay, thank you. Now, yeah, IMDb is very interesting because everyone uses it, and, you know, and people, I'm sure there's everyone out there is missing credits from that thing, but what can you do? Oh yeah, I mean it's you know people are they're either missing credits because you know IMDb is deciding to be stringent about stuff, or the people who make the film just decide to not submit it. Right. Uh, you know I've had some stuff like that. I'm like, well, you know, you, you guys made this film. Yeah, you know, I mean it's short or whatever, but yeah, you know, they got into a festival which meets IMDb's requirements, yet they don't right. put it on there. And I'm like, okay. Right. Well, well now uh, if you submit through without a box, so like if you use without a box to submit to us. Um, or even if you submit through our website, um, because we are with without a box, now it is very easy to get your film up there. All you have to do is tell them. It doesn't even have to win anything. It's just the fact that it was submitted. It gets up on IMDb. It, oh, it, doesn't, it, have, it doesn't have to show at a film festival. No. It doesn't even have to get in? Nope. No. Wow. Yeah, because I, I had a lot of problems with a, a short of mine where it was actually in the festival, and it was a festival that was recognized by IMDb, yet it took them, like, months to finally accept it. And I was like, this is ridiculous. Very frustrating. Yeah, yeah. And you start you try talking to these people and you're really not even talking to anybody. You just get some stupid automated response. <laughs> or you know, you get these- know, there's like no number anywhere for these people. Where do they live? We don't even know if these people truly exist. Yeah, I I remember there was a good six month period where they were looking for programmers and it was like a whole telecommute thing so this is probably just people sitting at their house you know doing the programming required oh, to oh. keep imdb up and running so anybody who's a pearl programmer you know you might be able to get a job with imdb and <laughs> sit your house all day and then you can help all of us get our stuff back on there yeah <laughs> m-i-k-e-s-h-e-l-t-o-n um <laughs> yeah, so there, there's my plug for, you know, Pearl programmers to go work for IMDb and, you know, help out your fellow uh, man, woman, writer, actress. Yes. yes. Now, I, you've um, you've done the acting, uh, obviously, longer than you've, you've done the uh, the festival because, of, you know, this, the start of the festival is directly related to one of your acting jobs. Um, <laughs> how, how long had you been acting before the uh, you started the festival? And, and since then, has it been... Um, you know, has it made it difficult for you to, to run the festival, go on auditions, actually be in films? I've been acting for hmm, 18, 19 years. I majored in college in theater. And, yes, doing this festival and acting is extremely hard to do. Uh, there's been several years where I was up for a job that was supposed to shoot during the time of the festival, and so that was very stressful. So I have to really... Find ways to juggle things. And has running the festival become a, a, a full-time, all-year job? Yes. And that's just, you know, all the preparation that goes into it and, and everything else. And yeah, I guess, you know, getting uh, emails or whatever from different producers who are looking to see if you have anything from previous contests that might fit what they're looking for. Yes. At all times, there are a good 60 emails in my box that need tending to in some way. Not just a reply, but... It's like, uh, can you recommend a script? So that takes a little tending because I have to go through my list and see what would be appropriate, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, it's very, very hard. I've actually added some uh, staff this year, more people to help out. And so hopefully that will take the pressure off of my shoulders. Now, when you recommend a script, do you have to actually send them the script as, as well as uh – well, the way I do it is I don't give out anyone's personal information or log lines or anything like that. So I would contact Phil and say, hey, there's this guy. He's looking for screenplays. I think yours might be right. Um, do your due diligence because I may not know him. So, you know, look him up, make sure, cover your butt and uh, send him an email and see what he says. No, you haven't done that in quite a while, Denise. I, I have. Haven't, I haven't received an email from you in quite a while. I know it's actually very upsetting for me. Oh, Phil, I will send you another one, I promise. Phil's very easily upset, though. I wouldn't let it bother you I'm too much. I'm very easily upset. Yes. I must say, the past, the emails that I've been getting recently have been, can you please refer your finalist or your winner? Usually it's the winners from the previous year. And then when they don't find what they want from the winners, that's when I try to push 
the finalist or the semi-finalist or scripts that I just like. So that's probably why you haven't heard from me. People are really stressing. They only want to see the winners lately. And it's probably just due to their laziness. They don't want to read much. So they, they, no, they don't want to. Yeah. Right. If they read just the winners, they, they feel they've covered everything. And that's not necessarily true. No, is that production companies and agents? Yes. So agents are actually still looking for new writers. Yes. Wow. That's wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I, had a, I had a meeting with um, one late last year, actually, and he's he has already made it known that he wants to see the winners, of course. And then what I'll do is I'll try to push the finalist on him. So at least he'll see a few more of those. You, you, you think that he's actually looking to see, uh, you know, on the website who one <laughs> yes because after it's posted oh my gosh we're bombarded with people wanting their contact info which we don't give out so with that that's when we contact the filmmaker or the screenwriter and let them choose if they want to contact these people and i i think that's a good way you know that keeps it yeah you know yeah 